In this video, we're going to look at our to-dos tool, which is the task manager inside of the planning pod application. So we are going to go into one of our events. We're going to click on the event right there. We're going to scroll down to the to-dos tool and we're going to click on that. Um, we're going to start at the top by adding a to-do. So click on add to-do. Here's where you would add the uh, to-do description as well as the due date of when the to-do is due. Here's where you can add assignments. So first of all, you can add it to a list that you've created inside of the to-dos area right there. We'll show you how to do that in a minute. Here are contacts who have already been assigned to the event. However, if you need to add a new contact on the fly, you can do it right there. Uh, to schedule a reminder, uh, you can add that right here. Just to let you know, um, you can send a text or email reminder. And in addition to setting a reminder ahead of time, anyone who's assigned to the to-do will also be sent an email reminder at 8 a.m. on the due date of the to-do. Here you can save and add another, or you can save and close, which we're gonna do right there. Uh, we're gonna click on the all incomplete to-dos, and if we scroll down, we'll find the to-do we just added right there. Um, you can expand all details by clicking on that button right there to expand the details for all of your to-dos. And here is the to-do we just added right here. Um, here you can update the contacts, the to-do list assignment, the reminder, and you can also attach a file to a to-do. And that way, when you come into the to-do list here, you can um, download that file if you need to. Here is where you can mark a to-do is complete. By clicking on the pencil icon, you can edit it, and the trash con icon will delete the to-do. At the top, you can um, use the filter box to type in um, any word or phrase or even the name of a contact that's assigned to the to-do in order to search your to-dos. On the left here, you can also filter to-dos by today or overdue, upcoming, priority, which is designated by that red star, and anything that you've marked as complete. Here is where you can add um, separate lists inside of the to-do tool here for managing um, sub-lists for the to-dos that you've assigned to this event, like I've done right here for staff tasks. And if you assign someone a contact to a to-do, um, you can click on their name to view all the to-dos that have been assigned to them. You can also use the check boxes that are next to each to-do in order to do things in bulk. So you can uh, manipulate multiple to-dos at once. Um, you can either select individual ones or you can select all of them. Here you can mark to-dos as complete. You can shift the due dates for multiple to-dos that way, forward or backward. You can change the due date to multiple to-dos. You can assign contacts in, in batches to to-dos. You can add or remove them from one of the sublists that you've created there on, in that left column like we did a little bit ago. You can also set them or remove them as a priority. Um, you can check off to-dos here and then save them as a template to use them over and over again, or you can mass delete them. So now we're going to show you how you can import um, a to-do list template. So we're going to go to the templates area of the account. We're going to click on to-do list templates. To add a new template, you just click on the add template button. And once you do that, it's going to take you to the template list area where you can start adding items like right here. Um, so I'm going to create a description and a note for this new to-do template item. Um, little helpful tool here. You can set your to-dos in the template so that they will import a certain number on or before, after, or on the event date. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this to-do out so it will insert uh, seven days before the event date. I can also set a, a, an automated reminder that will import in for this to-do. Um, I'm going to set this one day before the, the to-do is due at 3 p.m. Um, you can also assign contacts to to do to do template items and so every time i import this list into an event these people automatically be assigned to that to do and you can also add a contact on the fly there if you want so here is my new to do template item i've created if i click on the actions button i can edit it i can upload a file that's related to this uh, item and i can delete it um, you can see I've set up my list so that it's going to insert most of my items a certain number of days before the event date. Here are the people that have been assigned to them. I'm going to go back to my event now and go to the to do's tool inside of my event and I'm going to import this template into my to do to do's area here. You can import one or multiple 
to-do list templates if you wish. I'm just gonna import the one that we were working on. And once I save that, if I click on all incomplete, here are the to-dos that I just added that have been backed out from my event date, which is in the uh, middle of March. So um, that's how you can import your to-dos, uh, to-do templates into um, your to-do list. You can also download a PDF of your to-dos by clicking on this uh, option right here. Just note that um, what will be downloaded is anything that's in the current view. So if you, whatever you need to place into a PDF, make sure you filter it first to show the, the items that you want to include. So on the event dashboard, if you go to the upcoming items area, your to-dos that are created for this event will display there. Um, you can also go to the master calendar and all to-dos that are created for your events will also display in the master calendar. So you can see um, right here, here are uh, two of the to-dos that have been assigned to that event that we were working on. There's, they're displaying in the master calendar right there. Um, you can also add a to-do from the master calendar here. Um, you can select the event or the lead that you're um, interested in adding the to-do to, and you can add the to-do straight from the master calendar, and that will appear in the to-do area inside of the event. Also, if you go to the homepage, um, the to-dos that are basically in the overview by day, you can view the to-dos that are um, assigned for today, and in the upcoming items area inside of the home dashboard, it will also display your to-dos in the timeline right here. So there's lots of um, ways that you can view to-dos and to-do assignments inside of the application itself, as well as in the email reminders and text reminders that you receive. But do let us know if you have additional questions.